So I'm standing at the 39 kilometer mark at the Morris River Forestry Road near Houston, BC. Uh, down the road, RCMP are stopping anyone that's coming to this point and asking for ID and information about why they're coming over here. Um, there is a small camp set up to support the main camps with supplies and monitor any activity. Sabina Dennis has been here for a few weeks. As First Nations, we're accustomed to the cold and living this way is actually just a part of our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So not only are we um, feeling good about the freedom that we feel we're adding to the territories and to the support we're giving to the Wet'suwet'en, but actually being infused with the strength and energy from the land and from being on the land and doing something for a good cause. It gives us a lot of energy, good energy. But this is as close as we can get to the Unistoten and Gittemann camps. Snow and fallen trees block the road from vehicles passing, and the only way to access the camp is by hiking three to four kilometers, then getting picked up by snowmobile by someone from the nearest camps. Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs have given APTN permission to get to the camps, but we are still working with people who are back at the camp to find a way to access it. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News on the Wet'suwet'en Territory.